I just woke up to um, Zach posting on his Instagram that we broke up and I had no idea. Well, but yeah, I was at the airport and I got an awful phone call. Samantha, where were you? No, Austin, what's wrong with you? Ariana said she had no idea who you were and she just dated you as a distraction. Celebrity breakups can get super messy, and stars like Brianna Chicken Fry, Zayn Malik, and Lindsay Lohan know exactly what I'm talking about. So Brianna Chicken Fry is done with men after her split with Zach Bryan. After admitting to being blindsided by the breakup, the podcaster took to social media on Saturday, October 26th to reassure her followers that she was doing okay. Literally saying, I'm literally so fine besties in her Instagram story, adding that F men and um, you know, Keyword, am all, LMAO. She also shared that her friend had sent her cupcakes to deal with the breakup, which meant to read his loss, but instead had a typo, so they read his lose, which I find hilarious. And she further touched on the split and other posts in her Instagram story saying, remember when I put my life on pause for a man? Forgive me, I'm only human. So on Tuesday, October 22nd, Brian confirmed that he and Brianna had like split after one year of dating. And he said, and I quote, addressing something, Brianna and me have broken up with one another and I respect and love her with every ounce of my heart. She has loved me unconditionally for a very long time and for that I'll always thank her. So that was his Instagram story. And he continued on by saying, I've had an incredibly hard year personally and struggled through some pretty severe things. I thought it would be beneficial for both of us to go our different ways. I am not perfect and never will be. The country singer then urged fans to give the former couple space to navigate through the breakup in privacy, saying, if you have it in your heart, mine too, with everything I am, and to anyone I let down, I am sorry. I try my best in everything. I failed people that love me and mostly myself. And Brianna responded via her Instagram stories by saying, she didn't see this public post coming, saying, hey guys, I'm feeling really blindsided right now. Gonna hop off social media for a while and attempt to heal privately. When I'm ready, I'll be back and ready to talk. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your kind words. Remember, you are so loved and everything's always gonna be okay. And then she posted a YouTube video soon afterwards saying, how can you like give every ounce of yourself to someone and then be like discarded of in a few days? It's really, really heartbreaking and I don't wanna talk about details right now. And like, valid girl. Valid. That was so awful. Harry Edwards and Zayn Malik first met in 2011, started dating in 2012, before getting engaged in 2013, and they split in August of 2015, and the breakup was nothing short of an earthquake in the world of showbiz. Directioners, you know what I'm talking about. It rocked my internet. People Magazine was the first to release the news of the split on August 4th, stating that Zayn had contacted Perry two weeks prior and said it was over. And Perry was pictured around the same time, posing without her ring. She was hanging out with her bandmates and we were like, oh my god, girl, what's going on? Now, she was the first to speak out following the split during a Little Mix performance in LA just a couple of days after the news was released. At the time, Zayn was still yet to publicly comment on the breakup, but he did break his Twitter silence with a random photograph of a flower on a piano. And the former One Direction star then shared a series of tweets complaining that you just can't do enough for some people. And the following week, fans were devastated that the ex-couple's incredible home had been put on the market, which kind of confirmed that they were definitely over, even though they just that house like two months prior. Insiders claimed that Zayn had already asked Perry to move her belongings out of the home. Things began to turn sour between the two in August when Zayn dissed Perry's band with a retweet from Shady Music Facts that read, which is a better single? Retweet, Fifth Harmony's Worth It, favorite Little Mix's number one hit, Black Magic. So that retweet was seen as a real snub to his ex and introduced the Zayn has no chill hashtag. Ooh, I'm getting memories, folks. The turn of events came after Perry's band Mate Jade made off with a fan sign in Arizona that read, Zane is irrelevant anyways. And again, at another gig in Salt Lake City, Jesse pointed to Perry during the line of Black Magic that goes, Crystal Ballin, just to help him see what he's been missing. And in an excerpt from Little Mix's book, Our World, Perry revealed that Zane actually broke up with her after four years via text, saying it was horrible, the worst time of my life, a four year relationship, two year engagement ended by a simple text message, just like that. Even though things in my career were going really well, it was incredibly difficult for me. But she said the girls were amazing, like her bandmates, they'd have sleepovers, they'd get her favorite desserts, they'd do everything they could to cheer her up. She surrounded herself with friends and family because she didn't want to be alone, because when she was, she started thinking about things and getting upset. And in March of 2016, Zayn actually admitted to cheating on Perry on his album track, She Don't Love Me 
me with lyrics, I think I know she don't love me, that's why I F around. Now it seemed like the final nail in this whole coffin of things came in August of 2016 when Zayn had his tattoo of Perry covered up. Jelena, the OG on again, off again couple have been involved in a lot of drama ever since they first started dating in 2010. And even, I don't know how many years it's been now since they split, but the media frenzy has not stopped. The pair are always taking jabs at each other on social media. So I think it started, correct me if I'm wrong, with Justin Bieber posting photos on Insta of his, you know, then girlfriend, Sophia Richie at the time. Fans fled to the comment section, sending hate towards Sophia, and then Justin, like, I think threatened to turn his Insta private. And then Selena entered the Instagram feud being like, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, LOL. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans. They love you and supported you before anyone ever did. Now, of course, Justin wasn't going to ignore this, and he responded by commenting, it's funny to see people that used me for attention and still try to point the finger this way. Sad all love. And then Selena followed up with, funny how the ones who cheat did multiple times. I point you the finger at the ones that were forgiving and supportive. No wonder fans are mad. Sad, all love. Look, things were really heated and like, it never ended. It's still going on to this day. Even with their current partners, it's just, madness. Utter, utter madness and I don't think it'll ever not be a topic of public discourse. Sadly. Lindsay Lohan had a very interesting relationship with DJ Samantha Ronson back in 2009. Now, originally these two women were just friends, but things got romantic, I think around 2008 into 2009. So they had made like several public appearances together. And while they never tried to hide their relationship, they never directly confirmed that they were an item. But Lindsay did eventually make the situation clear during an interview with Harper's Bazaar, where she said like, I think it's pretty obvious who I'm seeing. Like, I think it's no shock to anyone that it's been going on for quite some time. She's a wonderful person and I love her very much. This romance was very on again, off again, and the couple split for good in April of 2009, and it was like really messy. Sources told People Magazine that Sam had changed the lock in her house and banned Lindsay from attending her sister's fashion event after the breakup. In an interview, Lindsay alleged that Samantha had hired five bodyguards to keep her away from the hotel bar she was in, so the actress didn't cause a scene after they had a fight. Lindsay she also shared some tweets saying that being cheated does wonders to you. I'm doing this publicly because you and your friends call People Magazine. So you win, you broke my heart, now go away, I loved you. Followed by, please leave me alone and stop staying in the room below me. You've woken me and my mother up, go to bed, keep cheating, you win. Whew. Well, in an interview with US Weekly, Lindsay admitted that um, that was the worst night of her life. And like, yeah, I don't blame you, girl, that's just, so messy. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson were together for four months, and they even got engaged in that short time span before calling it quits in 2018. And although the split appeared kind of cordial at the time, the pair did later take a couple of personal jabs at each other through various media appearances. In 2019, Ariana appeared on the front cover of Vogue and discussed the whole thing and admitted that, uh, sure, the SNL star was an amazing distraction. It was frivolous and fun and insane and highly unrealistic, and I loved him and I didn't know him. Ouch. Of course, Pete didn't take being labeled as a distraction too well. On his Netflix stand-up special, uh, that's, I believe, called Pete Davidson, a from New York, he responded with, can you imagine if I did that? My career would be over tomorrow if I spray painted myself and hopped on the cover of Vogue magazine and just started crapping on my ex. And that's all, folks. See you next time. <laughs>